There are different ways of handing drawings in, whether it's to your teacher or to a client. One of them is printing out a hard copy on paper and submitting it to them. One of them is supplying them with your inventor drawing file or your IDW file or your DWG file, for that example. Um, but with those files, they can actually come in and edit and modify your drawings. Or you can print it to PDF and submit a digital copy of your drawing file, one where they can view, they can zoom in, zoom out, print it on paper themselves, but they can't actually modify your drawing. So that's what I'm going to go over in this video here today, is how to print your drawing sheet to PDF. So here I have just a drawing example in front of me. Note that this drawing does not have annotations on it yet, so it's not completed, but that's not this video, that's another one. So I'm going to come up to the File button in the top left corner of my screen, and I'm going to come down to my Print option, so right down here near the bottom. And I'm just going to select this Print button right here by left-clicking on it. Now you're going to get the Print Drawing option, and right now it's set to one of the printers with paper and ink in it here, and I'm just going to hit the drop-down and choose Microsoft Print to PDF. Now you can use PDF Creator, or if you have another form of PDF converter, you can choose that, but I'm just going to choose Microsoft Print to PDF. And I'm only going to print my current sheet. The rest of the printer setting settings are pretty much the same as when you print to a, I'm not going to say regular printer, but a paper and ink printer. So you can choose which sheets, the range of sheets, uh, if you want it to be portrait, landscape, rotate, etc. I'm just going to leave this as is and come into, actually I won't, sorry I won't. <laughs> Now that I've chosen my printer, what I do want to look for as I'm talking and looking at the same time is the Properties button. And in the Properties button, there's a little button down here called Advanced, and I'm going to select this Advanced button and change my paper size. That's the big one we want to change. Right now my paper size is defaulted to letter, which is 8.5 by 11 inches. Now my drawing here, you can kind of see it in my title block, is a B-sized paper or a tabloid-sized paper, which is 11 by 17 inches. So right now, if I was to click on the preview button, this is what I would get. And actually, it is funny how many students hand this in because they hit print in a hurry, they hand in their file, and they don't look at it. Now you can see from this, I can't mark the title block, I can't mark most of the dimensions, I can't see all of the views or the border, so this is not a good drawing to hand in. So instead, you're going to come into Properties, click on the Advanced button, and change this to your tabloid-sized paper, or 11 by 17 B-sized paper. Click OK to make sure that sticks, and then click the Preview. And this is a much better preview. I'm getting my border on here with a little bit of margin around it. My title block is fully visible, as are all of the views, and the would-be annotations on my page are fully visible. So this is why that one second look at your preview is always, always recommended, just to make sure you're handing in a drawing that is complete. So you click the Print button, click OK, and then because this is not coming out on paper, you're actually going to get a little pop-up here saying Save Print Output As. So you're going to go into wherever your folder is that you're saving this, and you're going to give it an appropriate name. So by that, I mean for my students, we're going to go last name, first name, dash, name of paper. I'm just going to call this PDF example because this is for the video. You will call it by the name of the part or the name that I provide for you for your assignments. If you're not in my class, you're just going to give it a name that's meaningful. So usually you want to go by part number and you might put the date in there so that you remember which date or a revision number or something to help you organize and categorize your different PDF files. Because if you just call it AAA and then AAAA and then example one and example two, um, you're not going to remember which is which. You're going to be checking out the dates over here and crossing your fingers you're opening the correct one. So give it your meaningful name, double check that save as type is a PDF, click save. And then when you're done, you're going to go into your folder. So you're going to go into the folder where you save that. Here we go. And go look for your PDF. So you'll see it's got the little PDF symbol beside it. Yours might be different depending on your default PDF reader you're on your computer. But underneath type, you should be able to see PDF. Mine says Adobe Acrobat, yada yada. You'll just double click on this to open it up. 
you'll see that it is now a PDF file. It is not opening in Inventor. So if you are sending this to someone, they do not need Inventor in order to read your drawings, which is awesome. So this one I'm happy with. I can close this and then I can send this file to whoever I need to send it to.